So tell us about your technique here. Are we live? Yeah. We oh. Hey, friends. So you got a, a skillet. I see. Skillet? You put a lid on the skillet. Put a lid on it. You're using coconut grease. Coconut oil. Well, we call it coconut grease in Florida. Oh. Mahalo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, coconut grease. Let's take a close look at what he's got going on under the hood over here. That's it. And he cooks with that stuff. And it's a high heat oil. So I might even cook with it tonight based on how good his steaks have been tasting. So he's got, what do you have? What cut is that? A rib on? Ribeye, yeah. He's got, he's got ribeyes in there. And we both have ribeyes that are pretty thin cut tonight, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I like these a little bit thicker. But I went to Publix for the first time. You went... And it's a nice store. Where shopping is a pleasure. Now, you know this, the people that work there get stock in that, and it's not publicly traded. That one looks like you sacrificed a baby there. It's got, oh. That's a baby. That's fertile. But the others aren't fertile. This is, this is how much that the chickens... Fertile. This is how much the chickens are up on me. Wow. He eats eggs and, and I, stuff. I can't, you know... <clears throat> get out of your way. This is the meat that I prepared. I threw some of these peppers from the garden in there and then all sorts of pickled onions from this uh, friend of mine, William. Uh, and then uh, we're going to cook that up. I'm waiting for him to cook, finish. And... There's only one big eye on this whole stove, huh? Yeah. That's stupid. Medium heat. Medium heat. Remember that, guys. I'm gonna wait until the the tops, are the the glass lids are nice. Because you can see right through. Yeah. yeah, I wait until it gets it starts uh, turning a little bit gray. So you're saying coconut oil is not gonna really burn if I cook it on high heat? Mm -hmm. Really? That and peanut oil are the highest temp ones. I think. I might have to try that coconut oil. I've never cooked with it for a steak. I always use butter and it burns pretty quick. Yeah, it's. And the thing about the coconut oil, it's real easy cleanup. We'll try it out today. A little, little bit of uh, Dawn from the nursery. Yeah. Let it soak. They just say to wipe out a skillet, right? Yeah. Looks good, smells good. Oh. seasonings he's advertising he gets paid for these promotions don't forget I, I put put a little bit of this one that one and I just pile that one on someone's making recommendations on sunfire and grapeseed oil it's Friday night huh grapeseed oil yeah I've got some sesame oil in here I, I try to avoid nut oils yeah you gonna use these again nope <laughs> a little peppery. Yeah. Like, I'd imagine like pepper spray. I'm cooking in this cast iron tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and seal some of your juice. You just use your hand scooped out? No. How much do you use? About for uh, two steaks? That's too much. But yeah, just about half what you had. This much? Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, does that smell good? Mm -hmm. I could just eat it just like that. Could you? Yeah, it's good for you. It goes straight to your brain. Wow. That's good chip. Tastes like suntan lotion, but good. Nah, I've never had suntan lotion. Well, the way it smells. Um, yeah, your way. Yeah. You think those are done? Don't want to overcook. I don't mind it overcooked. Yeah, yeah, you like, you like your shit burnt. Knife, doctor? Please? There's one really good knife in here. Oh, shit, man. 
They're so thin it's done? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That was quick, shit, you're right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. For really? Yeah. That's how you gonna do it, huh? You wanna leave the burner on? Yeah, go ahead. You got eggs coming up, though, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Take your time, cook your eggs. This is part of the process, don't rush. That goes in the fridge immediately? Immediately. So Rex can't get it. Down on that max did, pad. Did I, did I tell you about my muscadine grape Let me experience? taste one, dog. I got pickle jars everywhere, baby. They, they, they need to make them seedless. That eye's still hot. Yeah, you're good. Now you're going to cheese these devils? Yep. Spatula? Yeah, the plastic one. Because it's non-stick. Sorry, Clark. Yeah, I, I brought that pan and the spatula on the plane with me. <laughs> They've had to frisk you down, man. You cheese them? I wait until I put them in. Okay, I'm just wondering. Because the, the cheese, it's harder to get off the pan. Right. Damn, them things cook so fast because they're room temperature. The yeah. Egg, the eggs. The meat, too. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, huh? You let it, well. I wish you wouldn't look at me like that, Napoleon. This reminds me of that Napoleon Dynamite when they're cutting, like, cheap steaks. This isn't cheap, but I just want to eat a steak like that they did. You know, the, I, I think the ones I got from Aldi were the best. Really? Even better than Hopkins. Really? Yeah. Don't let Hopkins hear that. They're going to demon. I mean, Hopkins is, like, considerably more expensive. Wow. I didn't realize that. I, I really like those Aldi steaks. I like Hopkins because of the convenience. Yeah. Those eggs aren't burning, are they? No, that's fine. You let them get real cooked on one side, and then you just fucking fold it over all raw in the middle. Uh -huh. Yeah. We're almost done. I'm just. It's always, it's always a race between cutting the meat and, and the egg. You're going to be cutting that again, though, huh? As you eat it. Yeah, probably. Biting pieces. <laughs> oh, yeah, Almost done. Yeah. It, it, yeah, shit. You alright? Yeah. Okay. Go on, set this. I'd be more worried about the wood. <laughs> it's just the steak on the plate thing, yeah. And then being in like a trailer. It's, uh, yeah. Napoleon. This is how he does it. Every time, people. It's like an omelet with nothing in it. Well, I put cheese on the outside. I hear you. But it's supposed to be good for you to have the eggs as you are. I I like the yolks. Like runny. Well, it, not runny. Well, they look runny like that. Oh, well, no. See, see, that's runny right there. There. I know. In between the yolks, but I right. flip that. You flip it and shit. No, I wait until that's cooked. I like the yolks, yolky. Gotcha. And then as I'm eating it, I take my steak. And uh, <laughs> that's like a Bel a Belgian habit. We got ten viewers that care about this steakathon. Look at the color Looks on this. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it does good color. Beautiful. Thank you, Jesus, for Clark's food. Mm, that's good. I stole the I best. Think that was the end. 
Yeah, it's good. It tastes almost like a pot roast. Come back to your uh, there's a there's a cow out there that's like damn you <laughs> now you cheat now you cheat now you cheese it yep I gotta go. This is where I, I got this in the Hopkins. Yeah. Bam. I'll go finish watching your live stream. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, this is the, this is the, uh, uh, Crystal, as it's called. But you're saying, why don't I put any on the eggs? Because you're going to put the eggs with the meat. Nope. Oh, that chicken sauce. Yeah. Chicken Car sauce? Yeah, he's got the chicken on it, man. Oh, it's uh, chili garlic. Gilly charlic. Imported from Thailand. Import from Thailand. Oh, I put it on the wrong one. It'll all come together, Some I'm sure. Spicy meat. Am I out of your way? You're not in my way. This is this is good TV, man. People are going crazy for it. They want to eat that. Come on down. Looking like a snack. <laughs> that turned my my ass inside out, dog. Woo! I could eat it though, and definitely. Yeah, you know, since I switched, I eliminated all sugars from my diet. That's but good. I, I cheat here and there. But, yeah. Uh, just it's like uh, there's three proteins here. Right, right. And so if if I just eat proteins, yeah, I feel good. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Beautiful meal. Nah. See you guys. Well, oh, shit. Let me flip it around. See you guys. Clark is my spirit animal, someone said. <laughs> that was Jake. Snakes. Thank you. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put my pan down like that and get my oil hot. I've got two separate pans running today. We're going to go ahead and heat the small little pan. Um, get it up to like a medium heat. We're going to use two different types of oils today. I've got some old butter over here. We go ahead and throw that in. And then I've got my uh, ingredients over here. You got uh, steaks and onions. Right now I'm gonna try to go ahead and let the oils get hot and get my uh, utensils. I'm gonna need a fork, a fork and a knife. <laughs> So I want this to get screaming hot. I'm gonna put this on medium high, this one eye, and this other one, we're gonna go ahead and crank it up to medium high as well, okay? Medium high. Yeah, I want this to just be destructive heat for this steak here. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen where other people, they just like blacken it. And that's what I'll need today, blacken. That bug zapper. It's great. You buy a bug zapper and put it by the trash can. 
That's what I did. I had a problem with some gnats. So I bought a damn bug zapper and I put it by the trash can. It's been doing its job real well. But you give it a kick and they come out and you put it right by the edge. You might get some crackle pop pop. Okay, that's getting hot. I smell that. I'm getting my butter over here going, all right? All right, that's good and buttered up. A lot of extra butter here. I don't want to use too much butter. Now, I want to separate out the meat from the ingredients. I want all the, I got peppers and onions and stuff, and I want that off of the meat. I just want meat, no uh, onions and stuff. So, there's the meat. Nice thin cut. Waiting for that to get a little hotter before I put that on. Get this on here, shake off a little bit of this. this. Okay. Try not to melt the plastic. Coming apart over here, guys. We're coming apart. This is gonna cook so fast. Don't eat that, Rex, that's a pepper. Sorry guys, this isn't going according to plan because I'm filming, making everything a little harder. All right, this oil's hot, screaming hot. Here we go. Down into the, <laughs> that's hot. Wash my hands real quick. Damn, this shit greasy everywhere. I need a degreaser. I need a plate to put this all on too. That's gonna be good and seared by the damn time I get over there to handle it. All right, I got a plate. All right, now we're flicking stuff around and shit. So this, I cooked this with some butter. I didn't want to use olive oil. I mean, uh, coconut oil. And that's just peppers and some pickled onions. I want to caramelize those a little bit. These over here, on the other hand, are my steaks. And I want these things to get freaking just char broiled. Black on one side. So we're going to let those go a little longer until they're just nasty cooked. These are the peppers I grew too. It ain't nasty charcoal black yet on this like I want it to be. I'm just kind of straightening the meat out a little bit. All over the place, the way it's cut real thin and it's just all over the damn place. A little minor adjustments there. Come back and fiddle with these uh, vegetables. Smelling good, looking good. Feeling proud of myself. Smells good, looks good. I wonder how those caramelized onions are gonna be. It's not, it's not uh, brown like I want it to be, but I got a feeling it's, I'm just gonna crank the heat up a little more. Turn them bloody on one side. Oh, this one's brown like I wanted it. Nice. It's about done, man. This thing is gonna cook so fast.
Look at the color on this one steak there. That's what I wanted, that, that color there. The other one didn't quite achieve it. Then my uh, vegetables are slowly caramelizing. Oh yeah, we're supposed to talk about rare fruit. Oh, these are the peppers I grew. Those uh, peppers from the Caribbean. They're called kachucha or something like that. And um, sweet tasting, real, they're gonna taste like it's gonna be real hot, but it's not. I like the, the flavor of it, it's good. I think this is about done. I just wanted it to be more blackened on the other side, you know? But they're not, they don't have that char on it like I wanted. But they are done. It's gonna be overcooked if I let it go any further. Hey shit, let's, <clears throat> let's try to take it to the next level. Take some uh, some flour and make a damn gravy, right? Just add some flour in, huh? Stir it around. Get your gravy going. Coconut oil and all that good shit. You gotta put on low heat, right? Low heat. Little more flour. Don't burn it. Don't add too much. And stir that shit around, right? Get it right where you want it. Add a little more butter in there, huh? Am I right or am I right? Huh? I seen a guy on this show do it one time. Gotta have gravy. Shit ain't gonna be right. Probably better to use a wooden spoon. You know? Put a little more flour in there, maybe, huh? Right? These are getting caramelized real good. I think these are done. Those are good and caramelized like I like them. Just like I like them. Mm-hmm. Just gonna stir it in a little bit there. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing at this point. I'm just doing it. I'll take that off the heat, probably. You gotta work out any lumps out of your gravy, huh? And then look, if you want to get real wild, take you some organic milk. Just a touch of it. Whole milk, man. Just a, just a whoop. Put that there. And then get that stirred in there. Oh, yeah. Look at it go. Well, didn't that thicken up real nice? Mm -hmm. Look at the consistency turned to like a, like a mud. It's like a goo, like a thick buttery goo. Let's taste this shit. Alright. Hold up. Let's cut this meat up. Worcestershire. I don't have that. I've got A1 in case shit hits the fan. Now I need a knife. This one's clean. Alright. Let's see the color on this steak here. Let me cut this up. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Let's take a look at the color of it. I think it's perfect. Got good clarity. Good color on this one. A little pink there. Let's taste a piece. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's got what I'm looking for. It's got what I'm looking for. 
that fat content in the meat did it right. But now let's dress it with this gravy <clears throat> and these vegetables. Dang, I need a an oven mitt. I need a damn oven mitt, and I got a, an oven still on. Shit. I do want to taste these pickled onions once they've been caramelized. Let's see. It's got a unique flavor. You still taste this pickle. It's good. Tart. Let's taste this gravy. Mmm. Gravy worked out somehow, guys. I don't know how it did, but the gravy worked out. Gravy's not bad. It could use a little salt, but I'm actually happy with the flavor of the, the gravy. So, uh, all the eyes are off. Get a look at it before I tuck her in. That essentially is the one that I made. And that gravy did come out all right. Yeah, man, that came back all right. And then let's see. Let's see what it tastes like. And thanks again to to Jesus for this food. I really appreciate it. The opportunity to share this with you guys. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. That's a good pepper steak. It's seriously one of the better steaks I've made. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's get Clark a piece of this so we can see what he's missing. Come here, Clark. You watching this or not? Got to gra gravy him up. Hey, Clark! I got a paper plate for him. I'm sacrificing the paper plate. right from the middle of it with all that gravy on it and all that good stuff and you get some onions and a pepper I got limited onion and pepper though I gotta save some for me all right let's take this over to his domicile there's his little piece he's getting right there damn it it flipped over hey Clark Yo. taste a piece of this shit it flipped over it had gravy and stuff and all this stuff on it, but tell us what you think of that. It's got gravy and peppers. Huh? That's good. Is you taste it? It's like pepper steak, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, guys, I don't think I'm going to need the A1 tonight. Thank you for watching. I'm going to eat the steak now. Appreciate you guys very much. Thank you very much. Y'all have a, thanks, Rose. Have a great weekend. Talk to you guys later. Thanks very much again. See ya, gravy.